This is tutorial number 26, and it covers how to use the rectangular pattern feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now to start off, let's sketch out a rectangle. So let's click the two-point rectangle and just sketch one out. Now click the dimensioning tool and let's dimension this. So let's make this side 50 millimeters and we'll make this side here 200 millimeters. Now let's click return, click extrude, and we'll extrude it out 10 millimeters. Click OK. Now zoom out a bit and get it in the center of your screen. Now to use the rectangular pattern feature, what you have to do first is create a feature and then using that feature you're able to pattern it along an edge. So to start off let's make our feature. So let's click the front face here, click sketch, click the center point circle and let's draw a circle in the top left corner here. Now let's click the dimensioning tool and let's make the diameter of this circle 10 millimeters and let's make it 10 millimeters from each side. Once you've done that, click return, click extrude, and we'll select the circle in the middle. We'll cut it, click OK, and now we've made our first feature. So if we rotate it a little bit, you can see that our feature is a hole going through this bar. Now to use the rectangular pattern feature, what we have to do is go down and select it. And the first thing we have to do is click the feature that we want to pattern. You can do this two ways. You can either select it by clicking the actual circle or you can use it by clicking the pattern in the tree. I suggest using the one in the tree because it's a lot easier and it's a lot more precise. So let's click it. Then you have to choose the direction. So let's click the arrow there and you're able to choose a line that you want it to follow. So to start off, let's click the top line here. So let's click it. And you can see the green arrow is showing the direction it's going in and then the green circle is showing if we click OK, what our cutout's going to be. So for this, let's change the number of instances that we have to 10, and let's change the distance in between each one to 20 millimeters. Now it looks good, everything's spaced out fine, so let's click OK. And now we've used the rectangular pattern feature to make 10 instances of that first feature. Now you can also do it along another edge. So let's click rectangular pattern. Let's choose the feature. So click extrusion 2. This time for the direction, let's make it going down. Now it's going in the wrong direction right now, so we have to flip the direction by clicking this. And let's make three of them, and they'll be 15 millimeters apart. Click OK. And now we've cut three going down that line. Now let's delete these two patterns that we just made. And now we're going to do one pattern that's going to pattern this one feature along here and all the way down. So this whole bar is going to be covered in circles. So let's click rectangular pattern, click the feature. Now for the first direction we're going to do the top and we had that at 10 and 20 millimeters apart. And along the side here we're going to flip it and it was 3 15 millimeters apart click OK and now from that one feature that we made at the beginning we were able to pattern it across this whole bar. Now with these patterns it doesn't just have to be a cut we can change it to an extrude so let's right click the extrusion click edit feature and let's make this an extrusion click OK and now instead of holes we have ten we have the pegs coming up instead of cutouts Now you can also change the shape. If we open up the extrusion, right click on the sketch, click edit sketch. Instead of a circle, we can make it a square. So let's delete the circle and let's make a little square in the top left corner. Click update and now we have square pegs instead of the circle pegs. Now let's delete this rectangular pattern here and now instead of making a rectangular pattern along one of these edges that are already here, we're able to draw a line in and it will do a pattern along that line. So let's click this face here, click sketch, click line, 
and we'll make a line from the top left corner to the bottom right. Click return and let's use the rectangular pattern again. We'll choose our feature and then we'll choose the direction and we'll make 15 of them. And you can see that they're following the line that we just drew in. Click OK and we've done our pattern. Now you can also change the line. Say we want it to come a bit more up to the top here, up to the top right. Let's open up the rectangular pattern, right click on the sketch, edit sketch, let's delete this line, and let's click the top left corner and a point below the top right. Click update, and now our pattern follows that line. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the rectangular pattern feature within Autodesk Inventor.